Hi, this is Larry Bogus, and you're watching the Privion Tech Update series on the Cisco ASA. Today I'm going to talk about how to use the Cisco ASA as a network troubleshooting tool by leveraging its packet capture functionalities. I'm a true believer of leveraging existing devices that are already in the network to help troubleshoot connectivity issues, and the packet capture functionality of the Cisco ASA is a great method and a great tool for capturing and viewing traffic flows both on box and off box and we'll talk about how to get the data off box in PCAP format. So let's go ahead and connect to our ASA and I have a test box here in my lab with IP address 10.1.1.1 and I'm logging in as user Privion. Go into enable mode and the command uh, to capture traffic is capture. I'm using the command line to demonstrate this functionality it is also available to you via ASDM if you like a GUI interface. It also requires a privileged exec mode um, to execute the command. So the first thing that it's asking for is a name. So let's go ahead and give the capture a name of test1 and then look at the different options. One way to, to define a capture is leveraging an access list and defining an access list and capture packets that match that access list. Another way is to use the match option and to capture packets matching a five tuple um, that you specify on the command line. Five tuple being source IP, source port, destination IP, destination port, and protocol. We're going to go ahead and use this um, just to keep it simple. You can also capture packets in real time and there's a couple other different options here. To note, um, the default buffer size is 512K and the default packet length is 68 bytes. So we're going to specify interface inside and we're going to do a match. Next thing it's asking for is the protocol and just again to keep things simple, let's specify ICMP. Source is going to be my host, which is 10.1.1.104. Destination, let's just specify any. We can also specify ICMP type um, if you wanted to see certain ICMP types such as echo or echo reply. We're just going to leave it blank, uh, which gives us everything. So we hit enter and now we have a capture defined and running. So let's go ahead and do a show capture. It lists our capture name test1, the type is raw data, interface inside, and here we see our capture buffer uh, right now that has zero bytes because we haven't seen any ICMP traffic. And under that is we're matching on ICMP, uh, which we defined on the command line, source of 10.1.1.104, destination of any. We can also do a show capture um, test one and that will basically dump the buffer which right now is empty. So let's go ahead and go over to this other window and we'll start a ping and we'll ping www.privion.com let that go for a couple of pings and here you see four packets transmitted, four packets received. So now let's go back to the ASA and do a show capture and now we see that we have capture data. So we have 944 bytes in the capture buffer. And to dump that buffer, you do a show capture with the capture name, which is test1. And here we see our data. There is some other options uh, to do a show. You can show a little bit more detail, which um, shows you some of the VLAN information, TTL, IDs. Um, as well as some additional in information. You can also do a hex dump, which is equivalent to a TCP dump uh, with a minus X. So how do we get this information off box? Um, so one thing to look at is that we can open up a browser and we can go to our HTTPS colon our ASA which is 10.1.1.1 slash and we'll type in capture and then our capture name specify a user again I have to log in 
and here we see the information that we saw on the command line show capture test one we can also pull this information off box in PCAP format by specifying specifying PCAP and we can go ahead and save that file and I'll go ahead and save it to my desktop called ICMP so let's go back to the window here uh, let's go to the desktop we'll look at the file type and here you see it's a capture file version 2.4 and we can run TCP dump since it's in PCAP format and read in that file to look at it offline and again we can specify minus N for no name resolution and minus X to do a hex ASCII dump just like we saw on the command line so now that we are done with our packet capture we can go back to the ASA and we can disable it by doing a no capture and the name of the capture which was test one another option is that if you just want to clear the buffer you can do a clear capture and obviously give it the capture name which doesn't exist anymore so that was a brief overview and demonstration of the packet capture functionality of the Cisco ASA.